Matt Jarvis, you've just come from the dressing room. I imagine it's back down to earth with a bump after last week in there, is it? Yeah, um, you know, really disappointed. I thought we, you know, we deserved to come away with at least a point. Um, you know, there was loads of chances in the game. It was a bit cagey to start with, but um, I think I think a nil-nil draw would have been um, a fair result. Yeah, because the goal that was scored was of a quality that didn't really belong in the game in, in terms of the, the final third. It was it was pretty comfortable defensively for for most of the afternoon for you, wasn't it? Yeah, as you said, it was. A, you know, it was a great finish, um, but. Yeah, really disappointing from our side. Yeah, we, as you said, defended well. I think uh, we've shown over the last few weeks how, how well we can defend and, and attack. And I think uh, you know we created numerous opportunities that just didn't fall our way and uh, ultimately paid the price. Did you feel you should have had a penalty in the first half? Yeah, I thought so. Um, you know, I just gambled on the flick on and you know jumped and took it on my chest and and just got wiped out. But uh, you know, he uh, he gave a corner, which was bizarre. <laughs> but there we are. Yeah, and, and did he give you any reason for that? I, I know there was a, a lot of Norwich players surrounding him. Um, no, he he said it wasn't a foul, so, mm. so there we go. And f from then on, you, there were times where you got the ball towards the edge of the Palace penalty area, but he didn't really force the, the goalkeeper to make many saves today. Um, yeah, that's disappointing. Yeah, we, we as you said got got in the right positions, maybe got the right uh, right the ball, but just couldn't get the. Uh, the right finish in, in, into the back of the net and, and, and test the goalie. How much of a missed opportunity is this today? Because you, you really could have dragged Palace right into it, couldn't you? Yeah, obviously we're, we're extremely disappointed that we didn't get anything from the game, but um, we need to make sure that we, we bounce back next week against uh, Sunderland at home. And, and the games at this time of the season, the position you're in, they, they do just keep getting bigger, don't they? I know we're saying it every week, but that, that Sunderland game now looks even bigger. Yeah, of course. That's uh, that's the time of the year it is, and um, as you said, each game gets bigger and bigger. And um, next week is is massive, uh, especially being at home. And you know, if we we can get that win, it uh, really gives us a big jump. Because you haven't really helped yourselves in terms of the results you've got away from home at, at the teams that are down there, have you? You lost at Villa, you lost today, Swansea, Watford. That, that that's what has made this more difficult for you now, isn't it? Yeah, thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> um, no, in all seriousness, you know, we really. Yeah, I wanted to make sure that we got something out of the game today and um, really disappointed that we didn't. Um, but as I said, we need to make sure our home form continues and, and get a good result on Saturday. Yeah, I know you don't like thinking about it, of course, but if, if you get results away from home against these sort of teams, it, it would make you, your job so much easier now, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. I think, yeah, as I said, I think we deserve to take something from the game today, and that's that's why everyone's extremely disappointed. But um, as I said, we're, we need to make sure that we bounce back next weekend. And um, what about the Sunderland game tomorrow? Will you be following that one or just waiting to hear the result later on? Uh, no, I won't be watching the game, but uh, we'll hopefully uh, get the right result for us.